In this video, we'll put together this Adeep Raspberry Pi Tank Kit and see what we can learn from it. Hi everyone, this is Chen the Design Maker. Welcome to my channel that focuses on maker projects and tutorials. So if you are into these things, don't forget to subscribe. User manual, motor hat, cables. Two, three, four, five. Having a metal gear holder or something. Tracing module. Battery holder. Hardware screws and nuts. Couplers. LED module. Gear motors. Tool tracks. Oh, I thought they are rubber tracks. Actually, these are flexible tracks that uh, are assembled, like each track piece and also the hinges. Wow, that's impressive. The track from uh, M4 Sherman, just because I'm also a tank nerd. Uh, the Raspberry Pi camera, SR04. Screwdriver, it's a ribbon. I don't know what's that for. Another screwdriver. Oh, the laser cut it piece. And these are really sick acrylic. There are center pieces. A lot of good stuff. I wish this could uh, print their uh, tank on the box because it's a really cool design and that's all the parts wow it's a lot and uh, they don't have a raspberry pi come with this you have to provide your own so that's interesting it says you have to do the software for all the servos then start assembling it's not the clearest menu there is i mean i wish it's more detailed let's try to put it together on their website, which is a 69 page PDF that have very detailed instructions. Putting the arm together, they want you to connect all the servos and get the software ready so uh, they can go to the neutral position. But I'd like to build it up first. We can adjust it in the end and we'll just start building the arm together. This is and here is a typical acrylic connecting design. So the trick for putting it together is use one of the finger behind the part. And... Whoa, it actually comes with four. Okay, they are really generous on parts. Nylon lock nut is uh, having a uh, half of the nut in nylon. So uh, you have to use some wrenches. The screw thread gonna eat into the nylon piece. So uh, you need a lot of force. It's really hard to get loose because the nylon is holding the thread very firmly. So that's really too tight. To go back a little bit, that's a good joint. Okay, cool. Draw, open, and close. The next is putting it all together. So set screw are very typical for uh, using a uh, shaft devices. Wait, what? This is actually way bigger. There's just too much play going on here. Maybe it's fine? I don't know. Maybe the play is uh, on purpose. Pan camera in here. That should be all of the cables connected. Oh my god. It's a mess. So the cables are too messy, so I, we have to redo it again. The camera cable is getting in the way so much that we probably should have put it on the Raspberry Pi itself rather than going through that hole. That's a car body. Okay. So right now there's a like five millimeter difference. All right, looks pretty good. So the next step is to figure out set up the software. Where is the SD card? I couldn't see it. I got it out of the slot. But um okay, there we go. So I so I finished the software setup without much problem. Make sure you watch the video and follow every single step. One thing I would do differently is to follow the PDF instruction and uh, do the software card first before assembling it because it's really hard to put the SD card inside from here. All right, let's power it up. They are actually to help pull the battery out. We can turn the power on. Since we assembled the arm without actually using the home position, now we have to fix them by losing the servo fixed arm and then move it to the position as the PDF suggested. So let's fire up the software. You just go to this master and uh, run the client. And if you configure everything all right, you should be able to run this application. Ridiculous looking full screen. So uh, we'll do a connect. 
and we should be able to use the home button. Okay, that's home position. Whoa, that's wait, what? Okay, that's going forward. That's going back, but it's too tall. The rotating about 90 degrees. So you can see something and grab it on your camera wheel. Let's test other features. So you can use this to turn around for sure. Like you can see myself. Ultrasonic to detect how much further I am from the robot. Uh, okay, that's going backward when I'm pressing the forward button. The arm rotating and the grab and moving. Since we have a little duckling here, let's see if we can grab it without looking at the robot. Okay, I can see the arm. It's in place. Uh, it's probably still too far away because it's not grabbing it for sure. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's see. Hey, I thought we grabbed it. I am not gonna look at the table. So let's lose the jaw first. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. What happened? Oh, I don't feel like we grabbed it. Okay, that feels solid. Oh, did we grab it? Did we grab it? Okay, I need to look at it now. Seems like we grabbed it. Uh, I guess that's a uh, mission accomplished. Turning the color of LEDs, watchdog mode. Oh, wow. If you see something moving, you should have red. Of course, you can use that trigger for a lot of other things. And this fan color. It is trying to find the, the yellow uh, object in the wheel. Some software that we could make it better. It's up and down, it's for the camera move. So find line usually attracts a black line on a white floor. Something here. Let's see if it works. If it works, it should follow this circle. So this three are the line module. Should be some IR emitter and the IR receiver to see if the floor is white and black. And based on the distance, we might need a thicker uh, black line. And it is, it's not black enough. Let's see. If it turns, it might be too fast. All right, I gave up. It's seeing something. The sensor is working. We might need to adjust the speed so it can go slower. Probably some black tape on the floor to test it better. Okay, so that's all the software feature we have. And uh, obviously that can be something better. Hey, that's, uh, that's why we are having this kit to learn from, right? So final word about this kit. The hardware is well developed. The only problem I was having is connecting all the cables in a cramped space. The software got a lot of great features built in, but uh, still have some bugs that you can fix. Maybe this is a great opportunity for you to learn Python by fixing those bugs. Hopefully you learn one thing or two in my video, but I feel the best thing to learn is to build your own. I will have the link in the description if you want to check it out. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and I'll see you next time.